Hi, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making honey glazed barbecue pork. So let's get started. Let's uh, review the ingredients here. I have a whole pork butt shoulder, bone in, red fermented uh, bean curd, water, Shaoxing wine, soy sauce, hoisin sauce, and sugar. And for the fermented red bean curd, I like to use the one that's in the ceramic jar. And for the prep, I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, debone the pork butt. And this has a, a shoulder blade bone. So just take a boning knife, just follow the, um, the curve of the bone. And you can feel it. Turn this over. And you can see that there's going to be a notch here. So cut around it. And at the top, and this blade bone has a, a top notch on it. Just continue following the bone. And if you're not comfortable doing this, when you purchase this at the market, you can have the butcher debone it for you. And there we have it. This is the uh, blade bone. And I keep it for uh, soup stock. So next, let's uh, trim up some of the fat here. And you can see it comes off quite easily. So next, let's cut it. I like to cut it into about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half pieces. You want it, You don't want to cut it too thin because it'll dry out in the oven. And this has a nice uh, ratio of uh, pork to meat. Okay, cut one more piece. And with this, you can see how the membrane is dividing the shoulder here. So follow the membrane. And the next piece will automatically come off. Here we can take off some of the, the fat on the top. <laughs> this is going to be the lean part of the barbecue pork. So cut it down the center. And you'll have a piece like this. Cut it one more time. Another piece. And the last one, just cut it, butterfly it, so it'll cook evenly. And there you have, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and we have seven piece of um, cut uh, but shoulder. Okay, so that's done. Let me wash up and we can uh, start the marinade. For the marinade, we're going to add the red bean curd. And I like to add the fermented uh, liquid. Next, we'll add the sugar. Poison sauce. 
soy sauce, Shaoxing wine, and some water. The water is going to help dilute it, reduce the sodium. Let's break the bean curd up. And mix this well, dissolve the sugar to combine all the seasonings. You can also give it a taste and adjust the, uh, the marinade. And that's pretty good. And if you like it a little sweeter, you know, add a little more sugar. This is pretty good. Okay, so we'll add the pork in there. Flip it over. Okay, last one. And make sure every piece is covered with the marinade. Okay, that looks good. Now let this uh, sit in the fridge and marinate it for at least six to seven hours and overnight preferably, but no more than 24 hours. And while this is sitting in the fridge, um, occasionally check on it and flip the pieces over to make sure they're uh, marinating evenly. So we'll be back tomorrow and we'll roast this off. Okay, so uh, we're back. The pork has been marinating in the refrigerator overnight. So what I did was I took it out and let it come back up to room temperature before uh, roasting it off. I have the oven preheating at 400 degrees. I have a foil lined baking sheet with a, a rack on it. And we'll set the pork on top of the rack. Okay, so now this is uh, ready to be uh, popped into the oven. We'll check in on it midway, about uh, 25 uh, minutes in, and we'll turn the pieces of pork over. And to make the honey glaze, I'm just taking a couple tablespoons of honey and just diluting it with some hot water. And that looks like a good consistency. So we'll use this at the end to glaze the barbecue pork. Let's take the barbecue pork out. And it's baking up quite nicely. So at this point, we're gonna turn it over. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop it back in the oven for another 25 minutes and we'll be back let's uh, take the barbecue pork out and this looks mighty good so what I'm doing is I'm gonna turn off the oven and set it on broil I like to give it a little additional char and at this point we'll put the, the honey glaze on it So now I'm going to set this under the broiler on the top rack for about a minute. But watch it so it doesn't burn too much. Okay, a minute has gone by and I'm going to flip it over to the other side.
we'll put the honey glaze on it also. Okay, so I'm popping it back under the broiler for another minute. Okay, this is done. Wow, it looks really good. Let's uh, serve this. Okay, so uh, let's plate this up. And this looks really good. You see it's juicy. And we can add a little more of the honey glaze to it. And here we have a delicious plate of home-cooked Chinese honey glazed barbecue pork. It's absolutely delicious. This is going to taste better than any barbecue pork you purchase at the Chinese deli. And plus, this is a really uh, good value. I bought the pork butt at the local market for only 88 cents a pound. And I think when you purchase it at the deli, it's over $9. So that's even a better reason to make this at home. And this freezes up very well also. You know, let's uh, cut up a slice. Steaming hot, it's juicy. Oh, look at that. This is going to taste absolutely wonderful. Put on a plate. Doesn't that look good? And this looks absolutely delicious. The red uh, fermented bean curd gives it a nice uh, color and honey glaze gives it a nice sweetness also. Enjoy! Okay, let's see if Shadow likes it. Oh, I know she loves barbecue pork. Thank you for watching everyone. Eat well and be healthy. See you next time. Good girl.